Hello everyone, Scott Clark at buzzmaven.com. I am going to give you a quick run through of the new Google Side Wiki, which is an enhanced feature of the Google Toolbar released today. The Side Wiki allows you to leave comments connected to a web page and visible just to the left of the page in this little blue bar that slides in in front of your site. This blue bar and the side wiki features are only shown if the visitor is using the Google toolbar. So its importance is tempered somewhat by the penetration of the Google toolbar, but it's really nothing to sneeze at as there are millions and millions of installations of it. The question is, will this be a home run for Google or will it be another flop like some of the other recent things that they've released where adoption has been tepid at best? So the first thing you want to know about Google Side Wiki is that everything happens through your Google profile. Just like most social media bookmarking tools, there's a profile which represents you on the web. When you leave comments or when you uh, respond to things, you'll need to do so through a persona, and that persona should be your, your own. And it should be cared for, as that there's indications that there's a certain kind of personal page rank, a profile rank, as Danny Sullivan calls it, where the um, amount of comments you leave, the quality of those comments, and the votes that others have given your comments will affect uh, your influence on this new social uh, network that is Google's uh, side wiki. So first thing to do is set up your Google profile properly and then come back to uh, pages that you like. I'm going to leave a search wiki uh, comment about the local independent theater here in Lexington called the Kentucky Theater. I'm a big fan of that theater and I think uh, I'll leave uh, a comment there. Uh, first thing you do is on SideWiki you would do write an entry which gives you this tool on the side where you can leave that entry. So I left a comment here for the theater. As you can see uh, there's a title for it and a, uh, an entry and then you click publish. That comment then becomes a part of the SideWiki for this theater. When it's, uh, oh, while it's open I'll show you that you can share this comment or comments of others using uh, email, Twitter, and Facebook, uh, so it does have a nice social uh, viral uh, feeling about it. And um, once you close it up, what you'll notice is now that the website has this little bar with the bubble representing uh, my comment. That's pretty much it. If there are others up there, this shows a little stack of comments, which is kind of cool. Now, one thing to know about the comments that we're leaving here is that really they're not responses to blog posts that are left from the Kentucky Theater. Uh, like those traditional comments should be put on the, on the blog itself. These are notes that are left for people who will visit the site after you. So keep that in mind as you're looking at uh, using Search Wiki. And the other thing to notice is that when you leave posts, it also will put the post that you've left here at the bottom of your Google profile and uh, hopefully uh, someday they'll have an RSS feed here so that you can use it sort of like a stumble upon page where you can watch what other people are stumbling that you respect and, and get a feed on that. Oh, now there is. There's, this wasn't here before but the SideWiki entry does have an RSS feed. Sorry about that. Anyway, let's see what happens with SideWiki. Can Google pull it off? Will they have a new uh, home run on their hands or will it be another flop? Uh, let's watch and see. Thanks again for watching the video. This is Scott Clark from buzzmaven.com.